me this. Do you like her? Well, I've never met her before. But no. In fact, I may hate her. I'm talking about Lady. JD, we need to find a way to move these gomers faster. All aboard! The love train. You could have made a bigger entrance. Let's get this over before I puke. Hey, Kim. Get your butt home already. We haven't seen each other in days. Don't you miss me? Of course I do. But the truth was I didn't. And then I had this weird crystallizing moment. You see, there's an age-old principle you hear a lot about in medicine that the simplest, most obvious answer is usually the correct one. It's called Occam's razor. It could mean that your first instinct was right, and it was Lyme disease. Bullseye, and there's your tick bite. Let's put him on 100 milligrams of Seftin, Joe. You're gonna be fine. Thank you, guys. Sincerely. Or that your best friend was right, and you have to let your ex fiance hate you for a while. Good night, you skanky, star-haired pig whore. Did you hear all the new adjectives? Come here. You are not destroyed. I know. In my case, it was never about sabotaging myself. Daddy's home. Come here. Check out these big pregnant hippo feet. Wow, those are truly disgusting. Right? I missed you. It was the simple answer, just like Turk said. I had knocked up a girl on our first date, and I don't have strong feelings for her and probably never will. And the only reason we're still together is because there's a kid involved. Which means I'm going to stay with her until the very end. Whether I love her or not. Okay, listen up. I need everyone to clear their schedules tomorrow because we're going to have a little party for Kelso's birthday. Kelso makes my life hell. Now, I know I usually cave, but there's no way I'm going to his party. I understand, Ted. Fine, I'll go. Damn it. So, I'm getting the cake, I just need someone to pick up the decorations. Fine, I'll get them. What's happening? Oh, and make sure you get 58 candles. 58? He told me he turned 58 last year. Told me he was 58 three years ago. Great. Can anyone help me find out Kelso's real age? You rang? I know you didn't, I just like saying that. Although, actually, I do hear bells. But now they're gone. <laughs> anyway, I'll help. Cool, okay, because I was wondering Hold how it. should... They're back. They're gone. No. Hang on. Go. Okay, Stop. because I thought... Bells. 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 No bells. Why don't we start with Stop. the... Stop. Go. Stop. Uh... Damn, Izzy. You're looking good, girl. Thank you, Sam. You not only have a soft spot in your heart, but you have one in your head. What do you say we hit up a Wiggles concert, then go back to my crib and pop open some formula, see what happens? Come here and taste this brown sugar. Taste this brown sugar. Tark, we can't make him kiss until Sam can hold his head up for real. I miss this, man. If I'm not at work, I'm taking care of Izzy. I feel like I don't get to roll with you or just do goofy stuff. It's just that when I have Sam, I'm so busy, you know? We're up at six, I feed him, I bathe him, and it's poopy time, and it's his poopy time. But that's why we need to get these two together right away. They need to get married so we can hang all the time. There's no guarantees, Turk. The other day I had Sam in the hospital, and when Dr. Cox brought in his daughter, he definitely turned his head. Okay, I turned it, but I could tell he wanted me to. There's plenty of fish in the sea, girl. I don't need you. Like, look at that. You are hot, baby. What is going on over there? I want to hit that. I want to spank it good. I like a spanking. I want to give it to you. I'm sorry, kids, huh? I'll talk to him. 